Hi, Alex Allen here. Day 31, I think it is, of my vlogged busking adventures. I think it's been a week since I've been out busking and the last time I was out busking was when I had the experience with the um, homeless guy that was really going quite apeshit at me and obviously I felt quite disturbed, upset and discombobulated after that and but prior to that also I you know I've been feeling wibbly wobbly over the last few weeks and um which is pretty normal for me and over the last week I've definitely been feeling wibbly wobbly and I mean it, it, it's just been chaos everywhere planetary cosmic chaos which I definitely tap into and experience through my being just like you do probably and um <clears throat> yeah I've been really just checking in with my body which has just needed to rest and sleep and not move much at all and just be solitary and quiet and just really feel and release loads of emotion and stuff which is um a lot of stuff coming up um just from the depths of life and some of it situational reactionary triggers but um Basically, I've been feeling a bit depressed and today I'm heading over to Totnes to get myself some healing. Fantastic cranial sacral therapist, Claire, um, as that's really good for me. And so I figured if I go to Totnes, I'll take my stuff with me and I'll go and sing some songs. Now, why am I doing that? Well, after a whole week of pondering on it, why am I doing it? Why am I doing it? Why am I doing it? And feeling closed out, although I've been choosing to, to be with that feeling because I haven't had the energy to do anything else or go anywhere or I just haven't. But I've been recognising that... Um, to be in the creative flow is really important for my well-being, for my health, even though it might feel frightening and scary and vulnerable and shaky and I might be afraid of what I might meet out there. You know, my skin is not very thick at all. But um, simultaneously, whilst that's occurring, I'm I'm praying and dreaming and putting out healthy boundaries and expectations and visions and, and and I'm programming joy and peace and connection into my forthcoming experience. Um, but yeah, today I'm taking my stuff even though I'm feeling shaky because I need to sing. Now, for years, because over the last 10 years, my mental health blip which has been really intense at times lots of people have said to me why aren't you out gigging and and I've just been closed and narrow because I've thought well the only places I can go and gig is in pubs and clubs and places where everyone's drinking alcohol and I've been freaked out because I didn't drink any alcohol for for nine years and um, I didn't want to be in those places because it was frightening for me and it wasn't where I wanted to be. Yeah, I never, the idea of just going out onto the streets and, and singing hadn't really crossed my mind, not as an idea of, of something I could actually do. And here I am discovering it and doing it and realising it's actually a perfect way for me to share what comes through me, what happens as a result of living in life and dealing with life naturally, unmedicated, raw, is that I sometimes write music and express and it carries a lot of emotion and that 
connects with people and resonates with people and I either keep it to myself or I go out and share it and although I, I did go and sing in a pub which was which was quite nice that's quite ice breaking for me ice breaking is that the right term <laughs> um so I'm gonna go and do it because I just love the magic of life putting me somewhere spontaneous random I can set up the stuff, I can just pour forth me, just the genuine, unedited me, just being me, singing songs, music, and people can either walk past and be oblivious or tune in for a moment and feel something from that. So that's why I'm going busking today and pretty much every day. So, um, yeah, if you're a busker, is it like that for you? I'd like to know. Bye. I know, me again. And mission accomplished. Busking mission. In top mess. Was feeling really emotional crying on the bus on the way over, just loads of emotion moving around, feeling quite um, afraid of getting up in that state, but I sat up anyway under the beautiful tree outside of Thrive and um, did my thing and I've just had the most yummiest, delicious, angelic confirmation of doing that today but I'm not going to share it I'm just going to say I have had an experience and then um, actually I went and got myself something to eat when I was done and there was a lovely lady in the Thrive Cafe and who reminded me that Arcturus Clinic is above Thrive Cafe I'd completely that just totally missed my mind that there'd be people in session receiving um, healing or massage whilst I'd be singing outside, I hadn't thought about that, but she shared with me that it really added to her therapy today, that um, usually she would fall asleep but today she lay there listening to me singing away, which was really lovely. So. Um, it's been good for me today. I've just come and received some healing. And then, um, yeah, once again, I've <coughs> bitten the bullet of fear. And I've been rewarded by making sweet connections with people and people saying thank you and appreciating being touched, which is really what it's all about. So, bye.